What up, everybody? It's your boy SGFL, man. And we are back with another video. You dig? And we are back with Mr. Joe Kane, man. He has came back to the SGFL community, man. Y'all remember Joe Kane a few videos ago? He did Over the Hills I Go. It was like an Irish St. Patty's Day ballad, man. It was, man, it touched, it touched the soul. It touched the heart and brought back some memories, some nostalgia, all that good stuff, man. Just like, it was a really nice tune. They're like ground and synergy, you know what I'm saying? So I really enjoyed it. When well, he's back, he's like, I got another one for you, man. This one's called The Tip of a Poison Tongue, okay? So that's that can be anything. It can be a lot of different things. That could be somebody who is sharp with the tongue, you know what I'm saying? Who's like words cut deep and sharp. So many avenues we can go with that, man. And of course, what I enjoy about this is when they give us a little backstory on who they are, the song, what it's about, so on and so forth. All right, so Mr. Kane simply said the song title, of course, the Tip of a Poison Tongue, it was released in May of 2023 on the album Coronado Gold, okay? It's available on all streaming services. Make sure you guys go and support that. It's alternate rock. It was written and performed by Mr. Joe Kane, all right? So, it said a backstory. The Tip of a Poison Tongue was written about six months ago into the COVID pandemic, all right? Well, it's long six months, but, you know, I was witnessing... Uh, so much anger, fear, misinformation, and suspicion in the community that I had never seen before. Regardless of how one felt about masks, vaccinations, lockdowns, etc., you could clearly see people being downright rude and abusive in both conversation and especially online. That's a fact. It was, uh, it was this sense of unease and mistrust I was keen on in this song, okay? So we are going to see what Mr. Kane's mental was like at said time, man. We all know the COVID pandemic, man. There's a time that we do not ever want to live through and or experience again. I'm sure you all will agree. You know what I'm saying? So let's jump right here into it. Of course, all the information for Mr. Kane will be in the description below. So make sure you guys jump in and there, show him some support, show him some love, listen to Coronado Gold. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just let me know SGFL sent you. So without further ado, man, let's jump right into the tip of a poison tongue. Let's go. Got that, got that soft piano roll going. This images, man, it's a little bit eerie. <laughs> Get a little extra volume because I'm getting old. I feel like we in the intro to some like real gonna be um, like post-apocalyptic or like downtrodden type of movie. Between night and day, mm. there's a whole lot of gray. Mm. Between the truth and a lie, there's only black and white. Man, I feel like I should be sitting back on a, on a porch right now with a banjo. Watching, you know what I'm saying? Like, There's people go back. Like something fell from the sky. And it floats to the ground like a feather from a crow passing by. Mm. It's like even like and Desperado. Comes from the tip of a poison tongue. When you walk outside your door, it isn't safe there anymore. Cause there are eyes like loaded guns just waiting to fire. So if you dare to step outside, be sure to stay between the lines. Good images are great. The next threat will come on the tip of a poison. <laughs> that just fits. That fits. I feel fingers in my mind. And they're moving all the time. They want to know what I've been thinking to make sure it's right. 
They'll keep twisting and turning inside till it comes undone. Man. I feel like I'm like Red Dead Redemption 2. Trying to make me come undone. Oh, they have eyes like loaded guns, ready to fire. And every time I step outside, well, I walk carefully between the lines. Very carefully. I know the next threat will come on the tip of a poison. Man, yeah, like we in like the Wild West, Desperado. What Kobe was basically, you know, damn near the Wild West. That's a good ender, dude. Like, just like here. Yeah. Tip of point side, that's a good ender. So, I feel like the credits is rolling right now on the movie, on the show, on the sitcom. Tip of a Poison Tongue by Mr. Joe Kane. Once again, that was the tip of a poison tongue by Mr. Joe Kane, man. Like a nice, well, I could say nice, you know what I'm saying? It's like, the, it's a great song. You know, it's a great ballad. It's a great uh, a tune. About the not so great time during the pandemic, you know, what I'm saying we all experienced and went through. Um, unless you was born within like the last year, and then you're a child, and you have no idea what we went through. But yeah, man, it was like uh, it was a time, dude. It's like it could have been like a ballad of like if they made a movie about COVID, and I'm sure there is. It could have been any pandemic, any type of thing with the mask and like the quarantine, and, like, the staying away from people and the six feet, all that kind of stuff. I feel like as the credits open, as the movie starts, as the series starts, as the show starts, you're going to hear, especially how he led into it, and then just jump right into the song, like the song built up, uh, had a build up with just like the actual instrumentals, without the, the, the instruments, and just slowly got into the lyric. We're going to see, it can be in tumbleweeds, it can be in desolate, anything like that, man, showing the interiors of like buildings and sh like shopping malls and things like that, vacant and empty. Because the time we went through, like, you know, that, that, that world shut down, basically. And let this roll in, tip a point in tongue, and talk about um, a time when you wasn't walking around seeing masks on every face. And, you know, everybody's, like, sharp with their words and cutting deep and hard because everybody was scared. And it was just, like, a terrible time, frustrating, fearsome, everything like that. This song will be perfect as an intro to some type of show involving that. I mean, it can even been like Walking Dead with some zombie apocalypse stuff, man. That's a nice little tune, like I said, that can actually have so many applications for anything like it, whether it be like some Chernobyl stuff, like it could be the end of the world, World War Z, anything like that, man. Any type of like um, pandemic or like big, big like world catastrophe. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? A perfect. Mr. Joe Kane, like, you got that nice, smooth, calm, like, demeanor. The cadence is, like, real. Just, like, you catch every tune. Like, you, somebody could be riding, the protagonist could be riding in on horseback. You know what I'm saying? Riding on horseback. Probably, Cal, like I said, it works. It could be, like, for Red Dead, anything, man. I picture, I picture so much what that's going on because you, I, I've, I've seen so many movies and shows that I just, in my head, I'm like, I, I know this will slot in great right there. And I can just see as B-Roll comes in and the guy mosey on in town on top of his horse. And that's playing. Everybody, we don't like this stranger. Maybe he's not wearing a mask because, no, he don't care about that or he don't believe in the whole pandemic thing. And I feel like it's a ploy or a setup from whatever government that's situated at the time. That and everybody's looking at him all crazy. Man, there's so many avenues for that, man. I love people who make music that get your imagination going. 
what I'm saying? That gets your get your your brain thinking and your, your, your the, the thoughts start to churn around in your head, man. Because that's talent, a hundred percent. Because anybody can make music, and you could just sit there stale face and stagnant, and just let it just come in and okay, and on to the next one. But one when somebody comes in and gives you like a nice little tune that actually makes you start to think, and you can start picturing stuff in your head, and you start applying it in certain places, man, you know you're on to something, man. You're very good at that. Basically, you're telling the story through your lyrics and allowing the person to hear it to actually paint their own pictures and get their own synopsis of what's going on, man. That is very, very ingenious, man. So let's give a big shout-out to Mr. Joe Kane. Make sure you guys go and check out Coronado Gold, man, because if you got ballads on there and tunes that are like this, that calm, laid back, you know, makes your mind start to wonder, makes you sit back and think like this, tip of a poison tongue, and like over the hills I go, man, We you, you in for a treat. You're in for a treat, man. So, Mr. Joe Kane, continue to do your thing, buddy. You know, you got a fan over here, man. Like, I like this kind of music that makes my makes me get the the gears up our turning. You know what I'm saying? So, as long as you can continue to do that, man, you most definitely got my support. So, from me to you, until next time, and it will be soon. It's your boy, SGFL, and I am out.